old Fortinet vulnerabilities are being targeted by a new APT campaign. Good afternoon, Mike. Uh, one of the stories you have today is about uh, like a 14 at SSL VPN vulnerabilities. It's not one or two. I think you have three vulnerabilities and which are being ex actually exploited. Could you elaborate a little bit about those vulnerabilities and what needs to be done to address these vulnerabilities? Absolutely. Uh, so um, the FBI and the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, um, put out a warning here this past week that there are various APT nation state actors uh, that are actively targeting and exploiting some known vulnerabilities in the Fortinet 40 OS uh, cybersecurity operating system, particularly that are um, associated with the company's SSL VPN products. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, the three vulnerabilities in particular that they're targeting are uh, CVE 2018-13379, um, which is a uh, path traversal issue that would allow an unauthenticated attacker to download system files via, you know, some particularly crafted HTTP requests. Uh, CVE 2019-5591, uh, which is a default configuration vulnerability that would allow uh, an attacker to impersonate an LDAP server and thereby intercept credentials. And CVE 2020-12812, uh, uh, which is an improper authentication vulnerability uh, that would allow a remote user to bypass um, secondary authentication uh, requirements like, like FortiToken if they change the case of their username. Now, a couple of things stand out uh, when we look at this. The first is that um, we've got FBI and CISA alerting us that this is a nation state campaign, right? So this is a nation state campaign that are targeting vulnerabilities, some of which are over three years old. So, you know, going back to that um, issue that we've talked about many times in other stories, patching your environment, staying on top of your patch management, your configuration management is critical because it's not just zero days that mm -hmm. um, these types of threat actors are using to gain a foothold into environments. They're going back and looking for unpatched critical vulnerabilities that have made the rounds you know, for several years. And here we see basically three vulnerabilities that when combined would allow an attacker to obtain valid credentials, bypass multi-factor authentication, and then be operated as a man in the middle for authentication traffic to intercept credentials. You know, this is a great way for an advanced threat actor to leverage a number of vulnerabilities that have been out for a number of years, find organizations that haven't patched them, which under which kind of implies that they've got some other shortcomings in their cybersecurity program, whether that's from a policy perspective, a procedure perspective, what have you. And they're using these as a way to leverage their way in uh, for, as an initial foothold, at which point they will pivot from there and start to execute on whatever secondary value generating activity that they want to, right? Whether that's uh, data mining, you know, crypto locking, uh, extortion schemes, you know, what have you, right? And so these cyber attackers are actively scanning for ports on 4443, 8443, and 10443 looking for unpatched implementations. And um, it seems as though, uh, according to the alert, uh, that uh, these APT actors are particularly looking to gain access to government, commercial and technology services networks um, through this campaign. Uh, so it's interesting because, you know, we're also seeing, this certainly isn't the first time we've seen VPN related issues come to the forefront, right? Um, we've seen, uh, in like October, uh, there were some flaws in other platforms uh, from Palo Alto and Pulse Secure uh, and others um, uh, over the last, you know, 12 to 18 months that have been widely targeted uh, and used. And really the whole 2020 pandemic work from home situation has really expanded this particular attack surface. So again, it makes perfect sense, right? That attackers are finding uh, these unpatched platforms and going after them with a vengeance. That's a great point. Uh, actually, you hit on the nail, I think, here in this case. The reason that the increased 
increased targeting about the VPN related products is uh, because of work from home situation because of the pandemic. Uh, also, you mentioned three ports, right, Mike? I think um, so. Observing ingress and egress from these ports is a must. I think that should be one of the um, measures some some organization needs to do. Whoever running this 14 or 40 OS based devices, right? Besides that, um, since uh, some of the one of the alerts going back to 2018 and 2019, and obviously 2020, are there any patches available for these? Uh, CVs and advisories. Any any intel on that one? You can throw it in. Uh, yes, currently these patch these system uh, issues all have patches available, and mm -hmm. in the in the alert from uh, FBI and CISA, you know they have a, a litany of best practice recommendations. The first of which you know is clearly to patch the vulnerabilities in question, uh, but then they go into a number of recommendations that are well beyond that and touch you know all the way into user education you know, and other types of um, non-platform related recommendations for really hardening uh, a security um, operation or, or an environment from a security perspective. Oh, that, that's great. I mean, in general, those should be the li list of the items anyone should follow to harden any systems.